Hello, everybody. We unboxed this guy in the previous video, this Harley Benton Tube 5. And now what I want to do is, as I promised you, I want to go and have a deep dive on the insides of it, right? Like, the, the reason why I want to make this is because it was very, very frustrating that I couldn't find such a thing, right? So I'm looking to take this out, put it in a different chassis, maybe put it into a different head or whatever. But I just would like to have a deeper dive of what's how it's made how big is the chassis what kind of mounting is it is it a pcb is it hand wire are the tube sockets mounted on the pcb is there enough space to i don't know add another tube in there or something you know this kind of stuff i know that people aren't asking these things or, or maybe they are you know let me know in the comments if if you've always wanted to know how this stuff is done uh, let me know in the comments. All right, so let's just uh, let's just open it up. Now, there's four screws holding the chassis to the to the um, to the cabinet, right? And now this is gonna probably slide out like this. So we need to take off the back grill. Now, always, always. There's capacitors in there that will hold many volts, hundreds of volts, 350, 470 volts. So we, 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 we make sure not to touch any of those, right? Now, let's take it out. Okay, this is probably bolted. This doesn't come out now, so it's probably also bolted to the chassis. But it's okay, no worries. No worries. Now, based on the type of dust we have here, this is the finest quality MDF. Cool. Let's take out the chassis. Okay, I still have to make sure that we don't touch anything in there. Now, okay, this is now... Okay, okay. So I thought it was going to... Ah, there you go. This was coming out after all. Uh, nice. What can I say? Cool, we put it there. Now, needless to say, the warranty is void on this right now, so... Now, the chassis is loose. Let's see. There you go. Cool. Cabinet. The cabinet is suspected is MDF. It looks like 18? 18 gauge MDF? Let's see. Yeah, it's 18. Amazing. The Tolex has started to... The glue here has started to wear off. We can see where the glue was. Fortunately, this is Tolex glue, so we can still reheat it and reapply. As I mentioned in the initial unboxing video, these guys here, they're not really well put, but that's fine. The front baffle, uh, yeah, grill cloth, uh, cleats, blah, blah, usual, nothing. Oh, no, wait, look. So I thought initially these were the heavy duty handles, but they're not. They have, uh, they're supposed to have like this um, countersunk screw that's, that's holding it from the other side, but this isn't one of them. It just looks like it. It's cute, but we won't be able to use that for anything um, crazy. I will measure the... Um, the um, what do you call it? I'll measure the cabinet inner dimensions so that you guys know. Actually, let's, let's do that now. Let's put the chassis to the side. So the external dimensions of the... Uh, cabinet are 31 point something. Yes, 31 point, let's say, 4 5. Inner dimensions with this is with Tolex. So the inner dimension is 27 and a half. Right? Cool. Then we have uh, inner 13 and a half here and outer 17 and a half. Depth, 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 depth. 
if we have 22 and a half. It's, it's, um, it's deep. It's deeper than tall, if that makes any sense. Yeah, and this just comes out, this is just a piece of NDF that comes out, it's bolted with four screws. Nothing surprising there. Cool, let's put this to the side and have a look at this beauty. Now this here is, ah, these are probably standoffs for the PCB. Faceplate, obviously. All your fingerprints are gonna, this is a fingerprint magnet, right? So all your fingerprints are gonna be visible. Cool. This is the chassis. It looks like a standard chassis, I think. Let's see. So we have 27 mil with 17 and a half. Yeah, with 17 and a half. And yeah, your standard five and a half, six millimeters, six centimeters. Cool. 6v6, 12x7, power transformer, output transformer. Interesting, not that, um, not too shabby, I expected something smaller. Turn it on the other side and let's not touch anything here. Okay, well we can see, we can see modular. Yeah, so PCBs, three modular PCBs. Caps, there's a lot of SMTs. There's like a lot, a lot, a lot of SMTs, so. As far as doing stuff to it, crazy. This is the way that connects to that PCB. There's PCBs for the pots. The pots are 16 mil. We can see 2016-18053 on the uh, PCB. I'm assuming that is the... These are all like copied after some lanies. And um, I'm assuming that's what it says there. The fuse, is it, is it enclosed? In, oh, no, no, it's, yeah, okay, so there's like a plastic cover over the fuse. I can't see the traces on the PCB, but I'm assuming power cords into... I have to see the trace, but I'm assuming it's power cord into... Uh, switch into fuse into transformer where are the film that's it's like okay but, but this guy stays as it is there's no like for me at least I'm, there's no modding there's no nothing this but there is ample room for rehousing because so what do we have here we have the switch which is PCB mounted then we have two pots which are PCB mounted we have this switch and the input jack which are PCB mounted, chassis ground, uh, transformer, output jack, this is another PCB, so one PCB is here, one PCB is here, main PCB, and then the two transformers, and there's like, there's like a lot of room here. So this could be put into a smaller chassis if need be, but as far as, as far as, you know, modding it, Forget it. You could do an Uncle Doug and transform this to a hand wire so that it would become um, like a champ. But what I don't see here, and this this does look like a champ, because this is the thing when I first saw it, that's that's what I thought. I thought, like, okay, 6v6, 12x7, champ. Then I thought, okay, but it has a tone. So, okay, so Princeton, not 5f1, 5f2. But inside, I mean, maybe the circuit is the same inside. We would have to go and look at that, but no. This stays as it is. Best case scenario, it goes into the tweet. Remember to, to, to go and check out the video as well if you want to see what it goes into. What, what it's supposed to go into, although I don't know if it's going to fit. We're going to have to do some, um, some measurements. Speaking of, since we are here, this is nice that these are, um, that I have access to them now. So we have 16 and 21 so 16 21 that's the distance of, of the, um, the screw holes on the chassis cool. there's a molex connector connecting the pcb on the output jack yeah man sure that would be the primary and this is the secondary and red is hot or red is plus 
black is ground. Oh, do we have... Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. So we can see that we have three taps from the output transformer. Presumably... But why do I have two here? So is it because... Is it because it's taking like a... What? Primary, we have three taps, right? One of them is ground. The, uh, the other one is... One of them is common, not ground, but like, and the other one is probably the five ohm, the five kilo ohm tap, and the other one is probably like an eight kilo ohm tap. But how does it do it inside? What does it do with them inside? Anyway, let me know in the comments, because I'm just beginning to understand how these things work. So please, let me know in the comments, why would, would they take the three taps? Cool. And I can see that on the outside, this is another thing that I don't get, so on the... On the secondary, they have the common, yeah? And then they have one tap, which is presumably the 8 ohm, because on the back it says impedance 8, 16 ohms. So I'm assuming that they took the... So for instance, in, I changed the output transformer in my PV, uh, in the Valve King Royal 8 to a Hammond 125 DSE, I believe. And that one has like, on the primary it has windings for 10, 8, 5, and I don't know how many uh, kilo ohms. And on the secondary it has combinations of windings. It has, it has, like, it has like 6 or 7 taps for, um, depending on, for uh, 4, 8, 16, and 32, depending on your primary impedance. Cool. I hope this helps, it gives you some kind of, uh, you know, perspective on what's inside this thing when you buy it. The, the chassis is finished, it looks like... I think this is aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum. Oh yeah, one, for, for stating the obvious, the power cord is, uh, right, so it's, it's attached, it's not a, it doesn't have a, um, a socket. I have to be really careful how I touch this. Oh, this is the one what the I don't know, th this is nice. These aren't set screws? No, are these just like okay. I thought these were set screw, but they're they're not set screw. The jewel, there's an LED on the back of the jewel. This is just a faceplate, which I'm assuming is held in place by these. Anyways, cute, nice, cool. I hope you like it. So Thanks for watching. I hope you I hope you enjoyed this. I hope uh, it's given you some sort of information and that helps. Let me know in the comments if you've had it, if you've done any mods to it, if you how did you do it? Is it, is it even worth? So, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy. Um like, subscribe, comment and um yeah, have a good day or night depending on the rotation of your location.